0% of you are subscribed. Fix that. See, adult film actors, Sam seed her. Uh, just wanted to, sh to shout out uh, to the NYU grad student worker union who made a complete protection of students from an ICE non-negotiable demand, got NYU to uh, concede and immediately afterward joined the general strike for Palestinian lives. Uh, Michael Brooks was, light, was right. Global intergroup solidarity is the only path forward for the labor movement. The guy calls and he says, uh, listen, I just want to make sure that you and Janine are aware that uh, you cannot promote violence at the, uh, the, uh, the RNC. And I was like, oh, okay. W what's this about? He goes, well, I just want to, you know, give you a heads up. And I was like, is this about the whole Molotov cocktail thing? And he's like, what? And I said, look, we were not telling people to throw them. We were just describing how you make them. That's different. We weren't in any way encouraging anybody throwing them. He's like, what? You can't do that. And I'm like, well, look, I mean, people ask the question and we just want to be able to be there with the answers. And so we answered. And he just like lost it. I'm just laughing. He didn't say anything about it, but you know, it was just like these people were just not the sharpest star. This is the uh, safe for mom version. It is time to clean your butthole. Yes. Which goes to the call other point, which, you know, how do you get off the ground running? Well, I think, you know, which is a good question, but I think it kind of leads to this fallacy where, you know, the only way to get off the ground running in politics is to put yourself into position to be working and enmeshed in these worlds that are going to try to indoctrinate you into a belief that you may or may not be open to. But, you know, they're going to do so very subtly. All your friends, all your coworkers, everyone you talk to are going to be generally good people who have this ideology that holds itself to be, you know, centrism or liberalism or just being a democrat and that's what you're going to be dealing with every day and do you have the ability to have enough sort of you know i don't know self-esteem individuality to keep yourselves in, in sort of immune to the charms of that right and my answer would be most people don't most people overestimate did you know that subscribing on youtube is free no click the button below to never miss a video again. You can unfollow at any time. Come on, subscribe today. I How it affects the left, which is what I care about as a leftist who, who wants the left to be more effective, which is the focus that Article and Jacobin you're referring to, we can't cancel our way into a better world, and of course, is of course the focus of the book. Uh, so on that first question, you know, this sort of general cancely trends in the larger culture, uh, and how and how new they are. I don't think it's a uh, I don't think it's a binary thing, right? Like either this is totally without precedent, or there's like nothing uh, there's nothing new or different, right? So I I would argue that there are a lot of different uh, factors that That's the bottom line. I don't know if they're deplatforming political candidates. Donald Trump was not a political candidate when they deplatformed him. We may be in the future. I mean, what's to prevent him from saying, like, I'm running for president? A committee? Uh, yeah, all right. Well, then, set up a committee. It's is a this great kind of raising like, tool. Isn't this kind of like Tim Heidecker's movie? Like, instead, like, you <laughs> run just to get your Twitter feedback? <laughs> New theory about, um, about uh, Democrats and their relationship to uh, drug cartels. And here she is making a... Uh, an in the moment decision as to whether she thinks she can get mileage, the sort of reactionary mileage and the aggrievement mileage out of this accent that she's contemplating. Watch this. And looking into the way that the Mueller investigation was handled writ large. All of these things are tied together. And this judge is rather upset about what she was told by the Justice Department and the actions of the Justice Department in terms of... Zero percent of you are subscribed. Fix that. Yes. Because annexation to me has a... Um, has a connotation of it being legal. I mean, the annexation of Crimea was not legal. It's an illegal annexation. Like, I think, like, well, I, well. 
I get the point. Yeah. Um, uh, but that is interesting just based on Ireland's history with their own, you know, struggle for independence. They were by no means uh, strong Second Amendment, you know, these sort of like fundamentalist Republicans. Um, but they they were people that were like, yeah, I, I want to be able to protect myself. I want to be able to have guns. And they were strongly um, annoyed by the government of Washington, by the governor, by the law in Washington. They actually educated me and told me about the law in Washington, where apparently you cannot uh, store your gun in your house with. The